Yeah, black sun in the hizzle. All the shizzle dizzle. Hey man. We got an excellent show here today. Once again, we're here with the three percent. I'm gonna go counterclockwise. Start with uh, Blood Agent. Introduce yourself to the people. Blood Agent, George Security Force, three percent, commanding officer. But you know you got to talk to that mic there. Uh, that, that's good, that's good. Now you good, you good. Blood agent, Georgia Security Force, three percent, commanding officer. Alright, we pass it over to the spot there. Gary Spotter Wolf, insurgent, Native American Defense Force. Okay. Spot Amen. Oh, actually, Amen. You got that country with who's that uh, mic there. Country GSF 3%. Scorpion Georgia Security Force 3%. Rescue Georgia Security Force 3%. Kill Zone South Carolina Security Force 3%. Blackout Georgia Security Force 3%. This is Dozer Georgia Security Force 3%. All right, gentlemen, all right, gentlemen, you know, I, boy, we hit about 4,000 views last time I checked on my last video. We talked about a lot of good things, a lot of good things, gentlemen. Yeah, about 4,000. There, there, there's a lot of good things to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. A lot of you good know. things. You know, um, I mean, we covered everything from the Sharia to Saudi Arabia to even... Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, we covered, I mean, we covered some, oh, we covered Israel, Gaza, and, and, and Palestine, we covered that, so, um, you know, and, uh, last time, you know, we didn't, we didn't have Spotted Wolf here, um, you know, I'm glad he's here tonight, because, you know, you have, in South Dakota, the corporations doing to the Native Americans the same thing they did to the boy Finnegan and the Bundys, you know. They stay on, they on. Right. Amen. They are. So, um. What's the mic, dude? What, what you okay, y'all. That? that little technical difficulty there. All right, so, Chris, uh. I want to start us off. I mean, uh. What the, I mean, where, where do we start? Shoot. Corporations? Well, we got this gentleman here. You know, Spotted? a Native okay. American, and it's what they doing in in, in Dakotas is bullshit. Right, right. They're doing to my people, like I said, in South Dakota, is pure bullshit. But right now, we're going to make them shape, because as you all can see, Native American and militia. Right. Oh my God, what's going on? Right. People wake up. Now that we're woken, right, we're making allies and friends. So corporate heads, look at it this way. We're coming at you, but we're coming at you with all different colors. So watch your back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. I, I hear where you're coming from, man. I, I look at that, and I think the same thing, you know, about... Boy, there's... <laughs> Looking at the situation in North Dakota, and I'm drawing parallels with uh, Bundy Ranch and its government overreach. We're supposed to be uh, confined, or government's supposed to be confined to 10 square miles, and government is uh, overreaching the hell out of the boundaries. Everything from your uh, zip code to your mailbox to participating in the uh, incorporated system. Down down right. to your license plates on your vehicle. Right. right. You know, Sell your rights back to you as a privilege. Mm. It's like when they ask, what's your name? I, sh I should just say my mom calls me Chris. Why do I have to give like, uh, I don't have to give my... It, it, my it's, that's Nazi style freaking name like Gestapo yeah man I mean it's Nazi style shit man what it's saying well, we, we have to identify you know who everybody is you know we have to uh, yeah, they want to know who everybody is right right you know right. why 
Why? Because they want to take over every fucking thing. Right, right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, that brings me to the mind of Edward Snowden, you know, I he talked about, you know, um, NSA, NSA right. we're all being spied on, right, every right. damn one of us. Everyone else. I mean, How the hell can we talk about that without getting pissed, dude? That's a violation right. of the Fourth Amendment. Yeah, right, exactly, right. brother. An illegal exactly. search and seizure, all, and we're just going to do it, piss on the people. Yeah, piss on, exactly, it's a constitutional bro. Viola- shit, violation. Yeah, like, I mean, that, and like last week, man, we had a video that went out, and uh, the first video that came out was from left-leaning uh, AJC, and, and it went on to say at the conclusion that the sheriff's department is not, you know, they didn't find any wrongdoing, but DHS is going to be watching GSF. What kind what? of bullshit is that? Oh, man. Yeah, so what is that? So we on the radar? Yeah. Oh, what's the name of this one? We're on the radar. Deep. We are on the radar. Oh, oh, it's happening. Yeah. It's happening. Oh, you yeah, you know, wait, wait. Hey. The same if, people if, that want to. If, uh, if, if uh, you're count. not being watched in a. Uh, the same people that are letting all the bad okay. people go. Right. They're going to basically watch us and call us bad. And Stand the same people that I mean, wanna, they, they want to count the ballots. They want to supervise all the ballots to make sure that, you know. Oh, they're, right. they're, they're, they're putting us Great, out sir. to be the, the, the bad guys. The, or the bad, or the bad people. So, so what, what are they saying? What are you they saying? Shit, like twice in the last month, like two months ago, the uh, it was a retired fucking uh, DHS policeman or law enforcement guy. He was like, "I'm with the Southern Poverty Law Center. When you see militia come into your city, please get the hell out. Take notes. You might see three percent security force. You're moving into your cities." And I'm, it, and they put our patch up there, and I'm yeah. going. We're, what the hell just happened? Right? You know, They're like putting us on blast, dude. We're, 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 cool. we're not like that, man. I mean, we're, we're, we're constitutional people. <laughs> like, that are ours, not other people's. So they, wait, wait, out of all the militias. Yeah, two of our pastors. They want to sing aloud. <laughs> yeah, they sing without us. Because we, yeah. you know, are reaching did, out man. and we want to help other people get involved in, you know, protecting the Constitution and. <laughs> it's pretty funny, really. You know. I mean, but I thought all militias want to protect the uh, Constitution. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sure they do. It's just, you know, I guess we're the only ones that are actually Sorry, doing something to on, protect the Constitution. Right here, we're right here with you, Black Sun. We're yeah. out here doing something. Right, we're all right. out here doing something. Yeah. You know, we're Secure about uniting details. everybody, man. Yeah, everybody right. needs to be united. Don't be scared admit, to use your constitutional you you know, gotta admit, your rights. Don't, there's not don't a lot of activity out there. Of shit. Other than... Right protesting the march and there's no large active militia in each state that's constantly bringing people together the way we do right right we we're all about it that's we're doing it, it. I, mean, right. I mean it's just and like what's happening it like we see it man and we make friends along the way we make enemies along the way and, and we got time to fucking address it's all just the like what's shit. happening in the country right now man you yeah. know that this this gentleman's here and I want to well, know more about what's unite, going on, right? really. We I feel like I've been sheltered in maybe social media. But I want to know more about what's going on with you. Like, what happened? Like, the oil lines? Like, what happened? What happened is they decided to go underneath the Missouri River. It sounds cool. But if that damn pipeline breaks, you have just poisoned the water for 22 million people and they don't want that known you know it's really funny though we just had another pipeline broke so far in the past 20 years a hundred some pipelines have broken killed 300 and some odd people cost the taxpayer in 20 years now get this $878 $878 million a year. Yeah. It could be used for something else. Yeah. And when it breaks, right, you cannot sue the oil company. You can't do nothing, man. We just had that Alabama gas line break. Right. That's, right. That's, why we, that's why a lot of these gas stations in Georgia, are, are, they weren't selling gas. If they was, the price went up. You know, because gas lines do break. You know, that's, we have you know, it's poisoning, our, fucking, it's poisoning, man. Right, right. You know, and, uh, was it really $9.99? Really? 
And why and why uh send all these underground pipes? Why not just send it through truckers? I, I don't I don't get it. I mean that's the way we've been doing it, sending it through truckers, right? Cust so It's all about the dollar. Yeah. Money. And if uh, money talks, bullshit walks, these corporations, if you really look at them, let me tell you about corporations. They are the number one people who finance wars. Right. Wars are the way a nation eats. People don't realize every bullet you fire, mm -hmm. every MRE you make, even every piece of toilet paper you use, somebody's getting paid. Look at Halliburton. You can't sue Halliburton. And this brings me to another thing that's really a pet pee. They talk about the four men killed in Benghazi. Right. What they did tell you that was two of those men were rapist mercenaries that have raped young girls. And how do you call the military, right, when they weren't in the military, they were government contractor. What is a government contractor? Mercenary. Hello? Big time mercenary. Okay, okay. That's that subversion, man. It's like, you should you should be able to recognize, I know in this day and age, we're not going to recognize our enemy on the battlefield. It's asymmetrical warfare. You're not, but, you know, there's got to be a country can't send mercenaries into another country and fight these proxy wars. It's got to be a country says, fuck you, and they they stand shoulder to shoulder and fight. Okay. And mercenaries ain't out there to win nothing. They just out there to fight for the money. Just for making money, right, right. Well, let's talk about, you know, last time we talked about... Uh, Syria. You you had said, blood agent, that uh, Putin was on the right side of history just because he's, he wants to fight ISIS, you know, that's in Syria. Now, somehow, we were supplying the free Syrian rebels, and somehow ISIS got the weapons? I'm, I'm confused here, gentlemen. I'm a little confused. Like, <laughs> I'm a little that, like, the free Syrian army, and then ISIS got the same weapons. It's like, who? I, I'm, can somebody help me out here? Syria is off the freaking chain. I mean, that's like the epicenter of uh, drama right now because the uh, Russians are talking about putting in S-400 anti-aircraft batteries and declaring a no-fly zone over all of Syria. Okay. And then the U.S. is coming back saying they want their own no-fly zone covering all of Syria. But now, the Russians have their fucking S four hundreds flipped on. So United States ain't 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 got air superiority and uh they've been funding fucking ISIS providing close air support up to United this point until no Russia started fucking their shit up. And and honestly which way is in front? Besides, oh, yeah, that's besides, all right. So what had happened was, all right, they played our heart strings. Alright, Syria got chemical weapons, you know, they, they hit him with chemical weapons, his own people. It wasn't like going into another country. Okay. It wasn't like Syria going and, you know, using chemical weapons on Iraq. They used it on their own country, violated human rights, and really? played with our hearts. I don't remember when that happened. I, I actually felt bad. I was like, you know what? These Syrian people just got chemical weapons, you know, they, right, they got right. beat the shit out of them by their president, who was Assad. I was totally against Assad. Still kind of am. I hate the whole fucking region, to be honest with you. Okay, they, okay. All the Man, Syrians, that, whatever. They, they, so they played our heartstrings, they gave them weapons, them. and then they turned into ISIS. You know, but I'm sure our government, on whatever level, had it all planned out anyways. You know, uh, you know, to... You know what I'm saying. You know, the government's out there. They're, they're already playing proxy wars. You know, you, if you play a proxy war, you... You're basically going to basically make a lot of money, like what you were saying, making bullets and everything else in an area that you created a war so that you could try to sway whatever the hell is going to happen. Maybe it's Russia. But, you know, Russia's got a base in, what, Syria, right? Right, right, that's right. And that's basically their only base that's outside of Russia. TARDIS. Because I want to address something. 
you said that you know we we were shedding crocodile tears because Assad was pouring chemical weapons on his people. Yeah. And so then where are So where where are the crocodile tears for Saudi Arabia pouring white phosphorus on the Yemens? They they're they're experts. Those people in that region, based on everything that they have been bred to be, okay, not. The color of their skin, none of that, who they are, their culture, has taught them, okay, to literally be liars, you know, they just come in, they, they, they go in and they just mess it up, you know, like, the crocodile tears, they yeah, mess why us is up, they, they, they made us cry, you know, they, anyway. they don't want us to, well, they want to why, why, the why, why are they sending together. fucking mercenaries against yeah. these Native Americans and in the Dakotas, why, why are they letting? Why are they releasing dogs on these people, man? Or private security? Freaking mercenaries, man! What the hell kind of shit is that? Mercenaries. Well, you want to speak on this, brother? What? I mean, you know, I mean, you, you saw the first thing. You went up there. I mean, yeah, you were there. They don't want to use a regular police force where you can get a name tag and a badge oh, number. They can't get into no fucking bullshit. So they're gonna Basically. be mercenaries. Now let me tell you about Syria. The weapons that they got right. in 1972, uh -huh. you had a thing called the Yom Kippur War. Oh, yeah. The Israelis captured tons of weapons. Where did the U.S. get their weapons from? Israel. Who did they give it to? Free Syrian Army. Who then got radicalized because they got tired. And so got, we, we didn't learn from the Afghans? We never learned. We didn't ever learn from the Taliban? We don't learn for nothing. Because here comes the fun part. Al Qaeda. You got the NSA and CIA on two different sides giving weapons to both of them. And the only one making money is who's making the bullets. Oh, so it's just a money thing. So we don't just give the money thing. We don't, we don't care who we get weapons to. We just going to make some money. And Everything's money. Everybody. Okay. Unconstitutional money. I mean, money makes the world go round, and it's unconstitutional on its face. Federal Reserve is not the United States Treasury. Constitution says Treasury alone coins money. We have private bankers. You got you got this Mister Mystery fucking Monopoly man. You know, and a couple of his boys fucking running shit. And the people... The world currency. The people, like, want to be... Shit. They, they want to be courageous and, and be governed with transparency and honesty and, and trustworthiness. But the dollar, you know, keeps them from realizing that. Uh, okay, okay. Those are my guests. And this is just something I've noticed. All right, we're all familiar with the gun trade, right? Yeah. You know, buy, sell, whatever for all the manufacturers who get people to go around the world. I'm just saying, I have friends from overseas who I was talking to, and a lot of reasons why these wars are going on is because we're buying more stuff than we need off of these people, and the only way to pay them back is to go to war. And think about it. Like you said, war brings profit. And for how long have we been known as the world's superpower? Okay. We look for a reason, we go in, and we attack. Starting with the new world, bringing in yeah. revenue. Man. Things are changing. Money is yeah. not no longer going from the West to the yeah. Middle East. Money is yeah. coming from the Middle East to the West. <laughs> the West freed up billions of dollars to Iran that's going to be used for terrorism, state-sponsored terrorism, billions of dollars, and we're going to provide close air support for Iranian nuclear program. When Iranians are getting this shit from North Korea. North Korea said this weekend that we're going to fucking, you know, fear the reaper, you know, more or less, and talking that, that bullshit like every other week. But they're yeah, fucking right. tied in with Pakistan, and Pakistan and yeah, India yeah, are yeah, like yeah, ready yeah. to fucking go to war right now. They're like fighting over Kashmir and shit because oil. China wants to run a fucking pipeline. It, China wants to run a pipeline. The United States wants to run a pipeline. It comes down to like environmentally. I don't want government. I mean, ranchers fucking produce fucking food and government you know, should produce fucking you know security. But the pipelines. 
and the oil is the lifeline of the world's economy. We got enough oil. So there's like you want to say, I want to say, pump that shit out, dude. And we don't, we ain't got no like fucking the, pipelines in the world. I mean, damn, yeah, be yeah, so we got one running on. We, 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 we got fucking thousands, Texas, hundreds of thousands. I don't know, thousands of fucking pipelines. Yeah, they want to build more, 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 more. But it, I mean, it comes with a price, though. If you can fucking build a pipeline, you got to be able to run it from point A to point B. Right, that's true. The environmentalists are going to say it comes with a risk to the land. Well, it does, right? Yeah, it does, right? And that's why uh, they're fighting in, in, in South Dakota right now. And then, like I said, with the, with the whole thing with Alabama, it's like shit. If we, I mean, damn. Quick question. Yeah. Quick question. All right, well. Um, uh, Wolf, um, if you were to reach out to all the militias, I know you're reaching out, you know, you're here in Georgia, you're in, you know, the deep parts of a old country ass road, dirt road, you know, you're not nervous, you know what I mean, you, you see us as family, we see you as family, you know, we're just trying to, you know, I guess I'm trying to figure out, like, you know, if you have one thing to say to militias across the country right now, like, what would you, you know, what are, you, what are you asking for? What I'm saying, support us in South Dakota. We need things there. We need tents, blankets. Winter is coming. Yeah. And we know this battle is not over. And it's kind of funny that you guys can talk about weaponry. The five biggest weapons manufacturer are the U.S., China, Russia, Great Britain, France, all of them sit on the UN Security Council. I got nukes. Oh, yeah. Yep. And the funny thing about it is while they're having us look at the Middle East, we're not looking at what's coming through the Pacific. Nobody's looking at China. How many do you know that Russia's got two aircraft carriers? They sold one to China, and China's building <coughs> four more. Yeah. Mm. China's the China, one that's China sitting back doing. China's lacking in aircraft carriers. They just started acquiring. Yep. They got a billion soldiers and got no way China, to transport. China, China, China exactly. is big. Yeah, they got a million everything soldiers. They do, they everything no they do, they're, 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 in, they're involved in everything. Everything. And their military, and their military is so huge right now. Right. You know. Well, and, we kind of had to be. Yeah, and, and we now had to be, we had to be concentrated on the Middle East because that's a problem we can solve without losing lives to bombs. You know, you know what I mean? Right. And China our, right our, now our, is modernizing its army. Right now, they're they're trying to they, they keep taking away from our military. You know, they take away from the military, and all these other countries are growing bigger. Yeah. Ew, why are know? we why are we taking yeah. care? Of, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just because no, Kills no, 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 said we we can take care of the Middle East. Why, why, why we just don't stomp out Saudi Arabia, the Wahhabis, the Sunnis? Because that's what ISIS is. Yeah. That's what Sunnis. ISIS and Saudi yeah. have in common. They're both Wahhabi because Sunnis. Because the, the common American man, that's like crazy. you and I, right. we're not heard by our politicians. They've already got political ties through lobbyists, yeah. through You're all oil right. companies, <clears throat> through a million different things that there's just no way to even try to comprehend with the Saudi Arabians and a lot of other Middle Eastern companies. We give them money like we give the average family food stamps, but it's millions of dollars a year. Right, right. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't know why. I wish it would stop, but it doesn't stop because we're not being hurt. Well, the way to you stop know? it is to get off oil. If you go solar power, oil controls everything. Yeah, oil solar controls power everything. right it's now impossible. can make it possible. Solar powered cars, solar powered trains. If we took one state and just put solar power farms there, we would yeah. have enough electricity to it's power the United States three times over. Well, I won't say it's impossible. I watched, you know, we went from coal to. Oil, right? It's going to and get now, worse. you know, we, we're going to go to something yeah, else yeah. and then someone's going to have we're, more. We're going to eventually start sucking this earth to dry of fucking oil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, Petro air. We're going to have, we're gonna have to hit that fucking high point what? in the oil and it's going to start going down. Because yeah, oil controls everything. Every, oil has got, every, got to do every fucking thing. You know? Well, 
this is kind of like low energy, man. Like, we're, we're right, what's going on right now? Right now, it ain't, it ain't a fight in we, we Syria, but it's a fight in fucking North Carolina. It's a fight for standing up for the uh, American anthem. It's a fight for you know, the direction that we go morally and and where our value is going to take us. There's a goddamn split coming like right here, right now. And there's like 30 fucking nine days until the election. Right. Yep. Yep. And I don't know what y'all are thinking, man, a, but oh, man. part of what we're such saying is that, you know, you know, everything is fucked up and everything is fucking fair game, you know, but we're going to be on the right side of fucking history and we're going to fucking, you know, make the right call. We're going to be on the right side Hillary of the Clinton fucking wins. As as I, can't, I can't tell you that I'll be able to last one day in a Hillary Clinton fucking... Presidency. Uh, no. I can't. <laughs> Especially when she stands there on national TV and swears an oath to uphold the Constitution. She's right. gonna, you know, she's gonna Man. stand there with her hand on the fucking Bible and, and swear that she's gonna uphold the Constitution of the United States. Then she's gonna turn around and attack the fucking Constitution of the United States. Alright, you know, I, why? Just, I was just wanna say, you know, the like the whole thing like that. With the whole campaign going on the way it is, if Hillary does get in the office, I mean, it's gonna be shit. I mean, everyone, she's gonna make it her goal to disarm everyone oh, she yeah. can. I mean, yeah, I mean, th th everybody, she, everybody from yeah. the police, all these, all these shootings going around about the cops and all that. Man, that's just yeah. man. They, so, they're trying, they're trying media, to man. make everybody so, so up, tired man. of guns. And that's the you know, they're trying to it. take away the guns from everybody. They're trying to make everyone Me, scared you, of them. If you say that you're going to use your cops, protect everybody. your rights, you're the fucking domestic terrorist. They're trying to make us like fucking that, Europe, man. You know, they, the cops in Europe don't even script. fucking have guns. They're just right. trying to make us all scared you know, of what's but, going, of guns. They're trying to make everyone scared of them. We've got the constitution that stands in their way. Our constitution is what blocks them from fucking taking our shit away. You know, I think it's really going on, to yeah. be honest with you. What? And it's just my personal opinion. Bring it down, Kazo. I think that the government is trying to provoke militia to do militia shit. You know what I mean? The thing that we should all be doing. You know what I mean? And we all kind of know in the bottom of our heart if we don't do something soon, something is probably going to happen bad. But, so, they're trying to provoke us. Like, what they're doing with the BLM. They were able to do it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people out there that are rioting and they're doing some really stupid shit. They're burning down their own Walmarts. They're burning down their own stuff. And it's like, why? You know what I mean? But they're trying to get us to do it because when we do it, they have the reason. Yeah. yeah. They have the reason. Yeah, I hear you, man. I to hear be you, bro. exactly yeah. what they're trying to be. Yep. You know? So that's why we gotta. That's why we gotta. Honestly, and I hope I hope a million people see this. You oh, know yeah, what I we'll mean? See. But don't. We had a million people lined up behind the right don't cases. Be careful. Yeah, shit, don't then do it. At least a million They're people. trying to get you to do it. Well, shit, don't back, stop relax. at your local fucking but Walmart and burn it down. With your local March people. that shit all Let it be a group of people. People need to come together, alone. man. People need to come together and unite. I mean, people are so fucking separate right now, man. You know, but I think I think the core thing for that, because I don't know who the fuck Black Lives Matter is. I know every time they go into the city, the local people are like, man, we don't know. They've been bust in. We don't know who they are. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. So because we, you know, the Black Panther, we tried to reach out to them. They, they, they were like, they totally just ignored us. So, so everything's about Black Lives Matter, but what's going on in the Dakotas? What is that, man? You know, everybody's focused on Black Lives Matter now. Okay, okay. You know, and who, who? Everybody's message gets fucked up. But yeah, man. Know, exactly. The, road, the message exactly. is still on point. You know, government overreach, fascism, right. corporations. Yes, sir. But in Black yeah. Lives Matter, the message is fucking diluted. And I can't, for the life of me, support, if they were behind the right case, I still won't join in. When I see people walk by the camera, black power, black power, black power. You know, as a black man, black power. I, I get it, dude. You know, Obama has brought racism to... I've never seen fucking this much of a racial frenzy going on in my fucking 43 years on this goddamn block. It, it, you know it's, what's it's crazy? Let's bring it back to this point. If I see back. motherfuckers out there yelling KKK, KKK. I hate my right, country. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck you, dude. You know, fuck you and it's, you your white power shit. It's oh, bringing yeah. down, down the, the same fucking... I, I and when it all boils down to the media, yeah. the media is you know, doing this to us. 
the media is provoking us. You know, when it comes to race, everything they're they're provoking us. They're making militia look bad. When in our in our Constitution, Second Amendment, you know, it clearly states that a militia is necessary. But Killzone, aren't we giving the media too much power? Because the media, I heard the media, the, the media's got way well, too much. Well, the media, the media is, is in control by people like Soros, and I know we There's all know that name. Right, right. You right. know what I mean? The media and the people that he he controls, which is a lot man. of different people. There's too they many to even try to, thoughts. you know. Even investigate, you know, to do it, you'd Places look like a slogger and just completely yeah. crazy because there's so many people, yeah. oh, you know. So it's hard to, you know, do that, yeah, and right. you know. But okay. we all know the media is wrong. They're they're yeah, they're biased. Yeah, they're they're, they're splitting us all up. They yeah. want to. That's no, their agenda. Yeah, it's they legal want to, to split us up. Propaganda. Like it's legal to lie on the Senate fucking floor. It's legal for senators and representatives to participate in inside trading. Fuck everybody else. It's legal to fucking pass bills without reading them. Yeah. It's legal to fucking import people from war war torn countries and get them to vote in a goddamn election that's detrimental. Like o Obama, I didn't believe Obama was fucking Superman. And eight years ago, he right. wrap his his fucking Superman arms around the planet and pull it back from the debt goddamn bomb that we're holding. In fact, we went from fucking nine trillion to twenty trillion dollars of debt. He didn't fucking save the rock from the fucking debt bomb. So Trump, if he wins in the first ninety days, it's got to be and nobody can say, here's how we're gonna tackle twenty twenty trillion dollars of debt. Trump You got the fucking baby. answer to that? Wait, Anybody got the fucking answer to that? Okay, I gotta address oh no, I gotta address something. Scorpion just All said. He said that Trump won't win. Now the president is already pre-elected. Now you know what? Now now because now now this answers to what Killzone just said. Killzone said that they're gonna do something that provokes the militias. The only thing that I really think they can do, because obviously let's just keep it real, 100. Yeah. God dang Trump rallies look like a dang Rolling Stones concert. <laughs> Hillary Clinton can barely fill a high school gymnasium. Like, come on, like, Man, really? I, Nobody, I, I, I mean, dude, come I, on. I, I have never, I mean, I swear to God, but, you know, I have never personally met a Hillary Clinton supporter. There, there are hey, none. Do you, do you support Hillary Clinton? Hell to I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't see <laughs> Hillary Clinton signs. I don't see nobody in, you know, but you watch and see. It's like, you know what, well, we might be there in support. We might be there in support of people, but at the same time, we're not going to up and launch, you know, go full gear if, if he doesn't win. You know, you have the same sheeple people following Hillary, Bernie, as you do Trump right now. Granted, some of us might be at one of his, you know, we might be out there supporting him, but at the same time, there's a lot of people that are supporting him that don't do shit about yeah. this country anyway. Yeah, do oh, yeah. We're, we're wins, sitting here as the as a 3% of America. Right? Right. If Hillary wins this revolution, right? I don't think fucking people are gonna sit back and take Hillary. No. But I think part of this issue is I think they're trying to aim for Marshall's law. The Supreme well, Court. Yeah, that's if we decide Supreme to get stupid. Court is yeah, not, yeah, I mean, and we're not saying, gonna get stupid because we're seeing past us, bullshit. But look at how things are going. They Cops getting us shot. To do it. That's now, 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 if the Supreme Court vote votes to start eliminating constitutional rights, that's when shit needs to start going down. You yeah. know, because the Supreme Court the Supreme Court's the got Supreme fucking Court. rules on all that shit, you know. Right. The president just can't make up laws as they go. They got to go through that's fucking right. different fucking things. And the Supreme Court that's is the main they, thing. Obama can't well, show it otherwise. I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna they go down. The They're gonna mess with us in South Dakota. We're going to finally go to war. Once we finally go to war, they're going to have a war that they didn't expect. And when we jump, other people are going to jump with us. Okay. Are we going to That's jump? when oh, yeah. they're going to sit back and throw in their bullshit martial law. And then they're going to come after the guns. Because then they've got martial law to do it. How many knew when they did that Boston bombing, right? They went house to house. Yeah, they did. Took weapons, took people's money, 
took people's entire savings yeah. that they no, had it's, hidden. It's just like that's what's like going to happen. Hurricane in New Orleans, they did the same thing. They right. had the National Guard going there, knocking on people's doors, taking their fucking guns. You know, oh, you know, they they think that they because I mean just. It was I a natural know, disaster. Know, I'm, you know, oh that 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 didn't give him the right to eliminate everybody's constitutional right. Like, no, you shoot him go in there and start taking, you know. Yeah, man. I mean, hey, man. I'm, I'm just the Constitution. Is, the Constitution is there to limit the power of the government. That's why it's there. Okay, and and, and let's start talking about some of these provocateur. Uh, extensions of the government, like it was the LC, the Poverty Center. Who were they? Let me, let me ask one question: the the LC, the Poverty Center, the Law, Southern Law Poverty Center. All right, yeah, the ones who saying, "Oh, Georgia Security Force, they're they're radicals." I mean, like like when did the people make that decision? Because the people, I didn't hear anybody. You know, what I'm saying, like, who are these people that make yeah, point I'm fingers and say, "Oh, these people," you know? Cause they, exactly. Who the fuck yeah. are these? Another people, asshole man. with an opinion. Who are these people? Right, I mean, who are they? So right. they don't, you know, we are the people. Exactly. Right. That's what she was saying. We are the you know, people. Right. We, you know, we, we are. They're, 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 they're just some sort of government entity out there that's trying to... We have... Try, trying to well, like I was saying earlier, who, who gives them the power? About who we are and what we're out here doing. You know? We I've got my daughter. She loves right. this shit. You know, she knows that everybody out here is a great person. You know? I bring my kids out to these events. Oh, absolutely. Ain't no one gonna hurt her. You know, and no one's gonna hurt anybody. You know, we're not bad people. We're not well, terrorists. We're not, we're not, we're not out Well, that's why I was saying, people. what defines a per I mean, because you don't. Uh, they put us on the same list as those other terrorists. jackasses. Terrorists. 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 You know, yeah. like the real motherfuckers. Yeah. You know, we're not those people. We're, we're here to protect the American people. people. Right? You know yeah. what I mean? Well, like, who's some of the terrorists that we got? here for? Yeah. You yeah. know? I'm sorry. What'd you ask? No, I was saying who are some of the people like like the terrorists that, that they're labeling? Because I mean, if like, it, I mean, think about it. Any kind of homegrown this week terrorist we're called fucking anybody. I mean, yeah, DHS calls that, that fucking. That is part, I mean, you got veteran, white, Christian, gun owning, Bible toting people, domestic terrorists. This week, yeah. George Security Force three percent doing nothing, scared of board into canceling their meeting. Right. I went up there to be like. You know, what the fuck are y'all talking about? You're too scared to hold a meeting because we were going to be here. We went out there anyway and fucking cleared our name. Like, don't be scared of us. Oh, so you think it was the, uh, was it AIM or the the Muslim Care. something? Care. 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 You think it was them that did it? Care, the news, the news. Whether it be them or just shit. the fear of it. it. The news just twisted around to well, however they want. And right. people, people suck right into it. You know what I'm saying? But people, you know, people, some people are fighting on our behalf. And, you know, you know that, that left-leaning fucking piece of trash in the uh, Atlanta Journal Constitution, Constitution, there was a big fucking um, comment uh, debate going on. And anywhere that our fucking article was See, posted, there was a big debate. And what people don't fucking get is it's not fucking we're bigots or confederate fucking, you know, pro-slavery fucking... You know, man, this mosque people is being, in, in mosque Georgia, is being man, funded it's, by CARE. And right. CARE We're is free funded fucking by fucking people. Hamas. Right. You know, they're, they're funded by a terrorist organizations. And we're prepared to protect East. ourselves right. against right, so all we, enemies, foreign these, and domestic. If these people want to build this thing, if they let it be built, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Money, it's man. Right. It's money. You know, that this county right. is, it might be fucking hurting for money. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this going, how much, it, how much is it going to cost to have this built, Chris? It's like 106 million. But 106 million look at the TV. Everything on TV says Muslims are coming to America to basically set up fucking shop. You know, and turn it into. Uh, They're coming to take over. Afghanistan. They are. We give them money. They already own it. We bring them in. Stores. And they, they get hotels. a convenience store for seven years for free. You know what, well, honestly, best case scenario, they weren't coming here to actually take over the country. I still don't like them because I don't like their views. I don't like right. their ideology. I don't like the way they treat women. I don't right. like the way anything that they are. Their own children. You know, they right. don't like me because I am the way that I am. And I love being a gun-toting American yeah. that has free, nothing to worry about. American I can sit with any race, life. any religion, and sit here and eat. Dinner with anybody and not worry about being hung because of it. It is my sound. It's my sound cliche. 
why they don't stay in the country that they're in if they if Islam right. is so wonderful because apparently Islam is not working for them in their they country. They have refugees for a reason. People try to get the fuck out. Right, because of Islam. Exactly. exactly. And then they're going right. to try to come here and change right. our right. shit. Right, that, right. that makes like no the sense. Like that don't let run. You're leaving because of Islam. They don't understand what it's like not to have to run from their people. <laughs> right. You, you know, know what, what I mean? That reminds me of? We're sitting there trying to figure out how not to have to, have to think how they're thinking. <laughs> like, what the fuck are they even doing? Let me give you some. It's totally foreign. Have you thinking, right? How about 1800 Jamestown? When the... When the Christian extremists came here and jumped on the Native Americans because they thought that our religion was witchcraft. Well, we've got to realize, right, the reason they're coming here is some asshole here put our military in their country, put a warlord over them, and they're trying to get away from that. But what does piss me off is nobody has ever said why did we support Saddam Hussein? I the U.S. sat this. back and gave him weapons of mass destruction to fight yeah. against Every. Iran. Yep. Right. Now against it's Iran. coming back and kicking us in the ass. And, and now, now, now we're trying to lift everything <laughs> off of Iran. I have, no, I have no idea why everything is being lifted off of Iran. Oh, sanctions. Because yep. why, man? Because because Obama, because Obama is a fucking Muslim. Yeah. Simple as that, you know. And I, yeah. they, why Iran? Why the fuck? Man, because these people do not like the United States by no means. They're smart. Yeah, but I think what's going on is that because of the ISIS crisis, that there's. I think they come like Russia. Huh? Our government created fucking ISIS. Right, and so no, I think we 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 got left. I mean, really. And Putin said this is one thing I agree with Putin. He said ISIS is our fault, and so we got a responsibility to help get rid of them. So I think they starting a temporary coalition. Now, as of Putin, Putin has been making a lot of good points against the United States government. He has right. There's a lot of people that are starting to. Hey man, Putin. And look, he's got, he's got right. to John right. Kerry. You fucking know what ass mean? nuggets. I mean, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not in comments by no means. No, 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 no. We're not saying we're coming. No, we're just saying we're yeah, calling. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, calling spade a spade. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Russia's supposed to be communist and all that shit. Russia's got their own. They got their own constitution. They got right. a constitution. If you read it, it's it's a lot it's a lot more stricter than the United States, but they right. got a constitution. You know what I love about their constitution? Yeah. It actually stuck. Yeah. The Russian constitution stuck. Yeah. You know, if you look at Egypt, Egypt, what, yeah, the past, shit. like, what, how many years ago was that? That was only, like, four years? Right? So, four like, if, if that. and they, they went through, like, two different leaders because the first leader tried to write some Sharia law into the constitution. Right. The people of Israel were like, no, hell no, we don't want that. Right, So then right. they overthrew their own government, right, stood there peacefully. Right, and then after that, after that, they the Muslim Brotherhood, right? They were pissed off about it because they tried, and then they went and burned down a bunch well, of churches. They sure that did. Night. I mean, okay, and then we, and then the the Egyptian army went in there and burnt tires around everything, so no one could see what was going on. But what happened in there is they were literally, you know, chasing all these, you know, Muslim Brotherhoods back to their mosque, and they burnt down the mosque with all them folks in it. Right. To be honest with you, they purged the Muslim Brotherhood from the country. Well, yes. They needed to. And they did that in Egypt, but we can't do that in America? Why? Right. Why? Because well, we haven't had 600 churches burnt down yet. But we got to oh, wait for 600 churches right. gotta, to get burnt down right, before right. we're finally ready to go do something about it. Good point. Good Why? Point. I mean, look, 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 look at what the Native Americans are going through, man. They, they, we're all fucking immigrants. All right? These people are Native Americans. And they was forced on fucking reservations, you know, forced on them. You know, they didn't have no choice, man. Yeah. I mean, th these people live. The Native Americans, to me, I got a lot of respect for them because they lived so much freer right. than how we live through the government. You know, the, the, you know what I'm saying? The, they had the right. They got the right idea. And, you know, they live close to and, nature and the know, land. And, and conquest has 
you know, evolved. Yeah, and conquest just killed it all, the man. En entire planet. But we can't go back to zero and yeah. start, go back to start. You're right, yeah. Now it's like, we're here, you're right, you're I live right. here, yeah, right. this is my country, and yeah. you're not going to push me off you're the right, fucking yeah. land that I, I was born on. Man, being yeah. here, man. You can't and go back to zero, oh, man. That's for their point. human right. Yeah. Let's talk about human rights. I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, as you know, it, the Declaration of Human Rights comes out of the Constitution. And we, we're seeing it violated every day. Like every whether day. it be, yeah, you know. Every day, um, man. The cops, they don't care if they violate your constitutional rights. If they violate your constitutional rights, what, you got to fight, fight with them in court? Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you know, about the cops. They're, they're. I think they're being ordered to do this to provoke it because right, right. When, when, when have you seen a cop get actually persecuted? Well, see, back in, back in, what was it, 1998, 1999, uh -huh. the Supreme Court ruled that the, the police don't have to protect and serve no more. I remember that, yeah. They don't have to protect and serve. You know, they're, they, they train them now to escalate every right. situation they get into. Right, right. To where they gonna lock your ass up and it's all it ain't money. the fucking Andy Griffin money anymore. money no bullshit. Doubt. It's all money. They lock you up, they make money off of it. Right, that's true. You know racket that's why when the fucking cases come up and there's an unjustified killing, people need to fucking jump on it and raise awareness to it. This is a police brutality. This is unacceptable but the message is being carried by people who we, we, focus we, on we, cases that we, aren't clear cut, slam dunk, fucking police brutality or unjustified killing. There's well, always somebody I, now, now questionable I that's getting fucking shot. Now well, well, it's 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 fucking Tulsa, mercenaries. I mean, uh, Tulsa, mercenaries. Um, that Arizona. Unjustifiable that guy was he had out. his hands up. He wasn't complying, no doubt. And. Uh, Less than lethal means should be deployed. I mean, if you can't deploy less than lethal means, then you shouldn't be a cop. Right. Tackle his ass, put hands on him. You don't want to put your it's fucking against hand the law. Do you let these mercenaries? Don't fucking move. If I say don't move, don't fucking move. I'm taking you to the ground. All these people I'm gonna restrain you. Right. Now that is so against the fucking law, and the law is letting it happen. That's why they went from why why they let that shit happen. Deadly force, like zero to sixty seconds. Right. Right. They're building it up, right? So, when somebody finally says enough is enough, and right now they bought bit of more than they can chew, because in South Dakota you've got almost 400 separate Native American nations, right? And they haven't realized, right? If we go off, we're not burning our Walmart down. No. We're not going after our infrastructure. We're going to hit them where it hurts the worst, in their pocketbook. Yeah. Right. We'll be the ones running up on Wall Street, <coughs> sitting back and doing things. We're the ones that will be blowing up dams. We're the ones, right, that you're going to have to watch because we come in all shades and color. And what's going to scare them now is when they see this video and they see Native Americans talking to militia. Do you know how bad they're going to flip? Oh, they're going to flip the fuck out. Bro. I think what you, you'll be happy to find out, out is that there's a lot you of know, people in militia, we black, white, we're Native American, we're all here We're already. forbidden to talk this you know? kind of shit, man. Yeah, it's just because, a matter of just this is, we this don't is have we the, the people. speech no more. We don't have the fucking... Mm -hmm. And if you read the Constitution, yeah, it says, we the people. We right. yep. And now we the people are coming together, <coughs> and it's scaring the crap out of them. And when they see this... Thing they're going to have a fit because right now we are all going to be censored. They're going to find out who we are and what we're doing. But the thing is, right, there are hundreds to thousands of groups like this one here across the United States that we are talking to. Yes, sir. So instead of three million, they may be facing a hundred million. Now right. comes the fun part elections are coming on. Let's get these fools that are in Congress out of there. How many of you know that more than 40% of them have dual citizenship with Israel? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, Israel is getting $35 billion military package. Wouldn't that money have been better used for the American veterans the American that fought a war, came back here, and need the help? 
just American people in general, yeah, yeah. man. Take care of I, ourselves you know, first. America. Keep I giving just, money to countries that don't fucking like us. We're trying to export freedom and the countries that don't fucking want it. Fucking damage done. Cut your losses. Reinvest in fucking American uh, values and fucking principles and the principles that made us free. And fuck yeah, man. And if they won't do it, then the people need to stand we're, up and we're, form a fucking militia. A I just want to say this real quick, guys. We're, we're a free society. Right? Is that what we are? We're, we're, we're a... We're a republic. Depends we're on what a republic. Is. We're free. That's what we're supposed to be. Hey, uh, I know, just, I'm feeling suppressed right about now. I just, yeah, yeah, it's not like oppression, like I'm poor, I fucking don't have you know, a pot to piss in. I, have, I feel hey, fucking Blake, oppressed that because... Light that, that light is reflecting off there and it's hitting you right here, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, it looks like you got someone hitting you with a yeah. game right now. Yeah. Just being honest. It's on your teeth. It's on your teeth now. Who's got the I just want to throw this out here real quick. Back when we first invaded... Over in the Middle East, they said they would inv invade every hospital, government office. They said they would be in the police stations, the gas stations, the government offices, everywhere. And as we can see, they're succeeding in doing so. This government right now, what they're trying to do is they're going after our guns. They're going after our guns. That's why all this shit is about the police and everything. Right. They want our fucking guns, man. I'm Cops. not giving up. They, they want. They want it like Europe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, they, and that's not going to happen, bro. Really. No, so if that makes happen, us anti-fucking our constitution, government, so be will it. not let it happen. If it makes us anti-government to say we are not turning over our fucking guns, so be it. Because we are not turning over fucking guns. Period. Don't even try it. Look at France. Their people don't have guns, and look at what happened. They got raided. How many pe How many civilians were killed in like one day? Yeah, man. It was, it like was two, like, three hundred. Yeah. Because they took they took away their guns. It's impossible to get get a gun in France, so they, they bombed did, it. Did France ever have a constitution with guns? Or is it, I, mean, uh, I don't know. Okay. okay. I, yeah, I, don't I don't know the French. French Constitution, right? I'm gonna have to look that up. Well, everywhere they go, they make sure that their colonies don't have the right to bear arms. Yeah, like uh, Australia, they you can't own a gun in Australia. You damn sure can't. So yeah, if you look the at queen, it, you know, without fucking guns to overthrow that bitch. If yeah, they want to. that's what I'm saying. Look at France; they got hit hard by uh, ISIS. ISIS yeah. They were bombed, and next thing you know, police and military are clashing, yeah. and just a big clusterfuck. I mean, no one knows what's going on. No one knows what to do, and no one's the citizens can't defend themselves. Right, right. So now you have the police and the military button heads because there's no mediator. No one wants to step outside. No one has a gun. Right. I mean, if I don't have a gun, I don't want to go stepping out into bomb shells followed up by bullets. And that's just my point. No one down there has a gun. So everyone down there is too scared to step out their door and do something to try and mediate. That's just my two cents. Now, now let me give you something that's going to be funny. What happens, right? Remember, Obama's been in office almost eight years. He's not come out to guns. What happens if he's playing both sides of the fence and having you guys arm yourself so when the asshole that came, comes behind him, when he tries to take your guns, he finds out, there's a gun in every blade of grass. I was thinking about that. You know what? That is a hell of a campaign. I'm going to take your guns. And they sold more guns last year than they had in 20 years. In one year. So, you know, I'm kind of like, wait a minute. What's really going on? Maybe for once, right, instead of being a bad guy, he's trying to tell us something, but he can't say it because... There's more power behind the throne than on the throne. Whoever behind him is pulling the strings, he doesn't like that. So he's saying, I'm going to take your gun, so go buy more. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's cool in theory. Man. You know what I mean? I he's like it. I like it in theory. Down. You know what I mean? Agenda. It's awesome. But at the same time, you know. Never looked at it that way. You know. I thought, yeah, I never looked at it that way. I mean, that's. Yeah. But. Alright, so we know that they're trying to take our guns, you know what I mean? Our guns are at risk, we already know all that, no matter how it's going to happen, theory not theory, that's so, fact. Let's not, but, let's but not be scared. I want to know what's going on with this man, with the Native Americans, 
to be honest, because I know you're calling on militias right now. You know what I mean? So What's I mean, happening is we know that the little temporary injunction they got to stop the 20 miles of the pipeline, they're trying to go through the Ute country now. In, uh, in Utah and still 100,000 acres of Ute land to put a pipeline through it. The battle is not over. And that is for sure y'all's land. It's title it's deeded. It's title I mean, deeded. it is Indian they're, reservation uh, land, no matter what. And they're trying like to they just said, right, take it. A treaty it. is a law of the land, and they've been breaking their treaties like they always have. This time we had enough. This time, right, when they call out the National Guard again, we're going to be armed and ready. And if they're going to do that to us, right, and we go off, they're going to be so upset, right? They're going to call us domestic terrorists. But you all know what's happening. And if we may need reinforcements, we've got our militia friends to ask. And vice versa. If they go after you and you need help, we come to protect you. What's happening here is an alliance is being formed between Native Americans and the militia. That's awesome, man. All you, you, know, expect, all you gotta do is ask. And see, that's, that's what it that. should be. Just and that's how it help. is. Just talk to people, it. say, hey, look, we need help. Right. And this video is going to scare the crap out of them. Well, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of different militias also contact you, make sure that you know you you probably oh, yeah. got because, what's going on. But yeah, you know, I just want to make sure because you know a lot of people, you know, even with the Bundy Ranch, you know, there's there's a lot of militias in this in this country. Oh you yes. Know, and had they all rushed to the aid of the Bundy Ranch at the time, it would have been a completely different story. But you saw what happened through history. Yeah. Well, right? see, what, so, what got them with us was this has been the biggest gathering of Native Americans in the United States history. Even before 1876, when we destroyed Custer, that was a small gathering of only two 2,500 people, there's 8,000 of us out there now. I believe it. And, and now what's awesome. got them is we're becoming armed. Well, see, what's got to happen is you guys got to do that, you know, mm -hmm. and then be a militia, you mm -hmm. know, and honestly be that militia to the point where, you know, and I'm sure you already are, mm -hmm. you know. What we like it, to do yeah, just, is open just up our do. lands I mean, where militias can come in, 8, people, train, that's a lot. Fire your weapons, get trained, and then you could leave like they do at the National Training Center at Fort Irwin, California. We'll train together. You'll be better trained, better armed, and then we can let you go home, and you can be there when the time comes. Because it is coming. Because if they can do this to us, they can do it to you. Sin, all right, can I, can I ask you another question real sure. quick? About the Constitution, you know, I mean, you believe, you know, I mean, you're Indian, you, you know, you're fighting for reservation. I mean, you believe in the Constitution. One hundred percent. I swore an oath to protect the Constitution from enemies, foreign and domestic. We're fighting domestic terrorists now that wear suits. We call them little men with big bucks. See, that's awesome because, and I asked that question. It was kind of a loaded question, to be honest with you, because. I know we're, we've got a lot of fallout right now for us standing against Islam. You know, as 3% security force as a whole, we've got a lot of fallout. You know, there's a lot of people yeah, trying to hate us for standing up against the people that want to take down our constitution. Right. You know, and you being a Native American, you know, you being a black man, right. you know, too bad Delta's, Delta's not here, you know, you being the Puerto Rican, you know, and, you know, but we've got white people and we, we're just so mixed up, you know, and I guess that's just such a big point that I want to make, you know, Absolutely. because militia is everywhere. You know, we are, unite, we right? are hey, everywhere That's right, hey, in every race, you know, yeah, you and know, I had heard someone point. say one time, you know, and it, it just, it messed my head up, you know, <laughs> talk to every a black man, it might have been you, to be honest with you, but, it's you know, militia. somebody had said, you know, yeah. a white person's gang is a militia, but if a militia was created by a black man, it's suddenly a gang. I don't believe that. You know what I mean? That's 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 like, what defines uh, militia from uh, a, a you know a gang, I guess. What end, to what end are they taking it? 
if yeah. we were taking it to the ends that we're going to do illegal shit, then we're and it becomes gang. a gang. Right. You're, you're exactly, we're taking it to yeah. legal ends where yep. we're helping, you know, people. Yep. Then and we're protecting, <laughs> you know, the shit. principles that made us free. Then that's what we're supposed to do. And we, when we unite, though, like as a whole, as a country. Nothing's gonna bring us down. It's not gonna be a small little one percent of the elites that can do what they think they're doing. Like we're so on top of everything that they're doing, you know, from this corner of the United States to that corner of the United States, we've we we've got them nailed. It's just a matter of how can we stop them from dividing us so that we can unite enough to actually do something about it. Because they are yeah, that's still, the real they issue. are still fighting on dividing us, and it's working. The government is fucking winning right now with dividing us. You know what I'm saying? They, they're winning that war big time. Okay, let me tell you how they're going to yeah. do it. Because we seem to try to work on us. They're going to find somebody who's got a family member that's in jail. And they're going to set him up and let him know you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail. Unless you can get one of your family members to do a horrendous act, and then you can go free. That's how this government works. And if you notice right, if you're a criminal, and you steal millions of dollars, you get maybe, what, six months? But if you are a person like us, you get 20 years. All right, y'all, we done ran out of tape, but hey, good show. Uh, we got to close it on out. Uh, we going to come back. 3%, man. Bro. Of, yeah, 3%, man. Yes, we going to come back. Bro. All right, y'all, we out. Black Sun, you're awesome, man. Thanks, man. You're awesome. You, man. Yeah, you're, you're awesome. Awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Peace. Shit, yeah. Bye.